Thanks guys, now that Andrew has you looking good in front of camera, it's time to get you sounding good. For this, we're gonna look at enhancing your vocal delivery. And since we're looking into voice, who better to talk to than our creative producer, Chelsea, who moonlights as a vocal coach. Now, Chels, what is step one when it comes to using our voice to present? Step one for using your voice when presenting is got to do around breath and how to use your breath. And that usually comes from some form of warm up. Humming is the first thing that you can do. So warming up like, mm, just humming for a period of time until you can feel everything relaxed. It um, kind of uh, gives your voice a soft lead in to using it. So as a vocal coach, what are the most common problems you find yourself addressing? I see uh, breaths not matching thoughts, tone. People are too fast often when they first start speaking and then also comfortability. So what do you actually mean there by running out of breath? Mm. So, um, something for everybody at home. If you have an argument or a heated discussion, whatever you'd like to lay it out as, you will find that you not often will run out of breath. Um, your brain does this amazing thing where it kind of knows where your thought is going and then takes a breath to uh, support that. However, when you have a scripted piece, you don't know how long the thought is and you've never seen the script before, you will often run out of breath. So Chels, what are some things we can do to feel a little bit more comfortable with a script? So doing the breath box is one way that we talk about re-establishing your breath so you can feel more comfortable. But if you find the breath box too hard, which is the breathe in for four, hold for four, breathe out for four, hold for four, you can take a big breath in and hold that for as long as you can before breathing it out. It relaxes those muscles. To people who are writing scripts, send it to the person who's gonna speak it the night before. That allows them to get an idea of what the speech is about and get those thoughts of those sentences in their brain, but not learn the script and therefore deliver it in a way that's a little bit um, robotic. Well, Leighton and Nathan, I hope these tips have helped. Just remember, read your script the night before, hum to warm up, and before you go on camera with all those nerves, focus on resetting your breathing. Now, before I go, I thought I'd give you a little tongue twister challenge just to see how warmed up you really are. See how you go with this. 